Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman aren't your typical Hollywood couple. Even though the always sunny in Philadelphia actor is no longer living with his longtime love, they still have an incredibly special relationship. Perlman has said the fact they have a family with each other, coupled with the decades-long history shared between them, are the primary reasons they still have so much respect for each other. She told Watch What Happens Live in 2019, she doesn't understand why it's so hard for others to get along. She and Danny have always loved each other, and during the time they spent with each other, they created three beautiful children. She further stated, when it comes to almost everything important, they're in agreement. That's pretty astonishing. It's rare for two people to be on the same page after spending so many years with each other. Danny and the Canadian Bacon star were married for almost 40 years before they split back in 2017. They started dating in 1971. They met in an off-way Broadway production of The Shrinking Bride. She was there to see her friend perform, but she couldn't seem to keep her eyes off the stocky guy on stage that was very clearly a comedic natural. They ended up meeting after the show and immediately recognized they had some serious chemistry. The sparks flew. Danny knew he was into her. They spent the entire night talking. Eventually, he worked up the nerve to ask for her number. The fact that she had a Brooklyn number sealed the deal. Reportedly, they moved in with each other just two weeks after starting to date. Living together was blissful. They discovered they weren't just compatible lovers, but also became the best of friends. Even so, they didn't tie the knot until 11 years later in 1982, Man, I I was into a forming a strong, they happy family. It wasn't long after getting hitched that Rhea and Danny decided to start a family. In 1983, they welcomed their first daughter into the world, Lucy. Just two years later, Rhea gave birth to another daughter named Grace. They had their third child, Jake DeVito, in 1987. Danny and Rhea got the opportunity to work on numerous films and shows together over the years, including Taxi, The Ratings Game, and Matilda, just to name a few. Their on-screen chemistry was always very evident. Matilda, based upon the Roald Dahl classic, became a huge hit not only for kids, but also for adults. Perlman and DeVito obviously work very well together. The DeVito family was inseparable. Rhea and Danny were frequently seen on the red carpet alongside their equally talented children, who have since followed in their parents' footsteps. They always seemed like one big happy family. Even though they share so many happy memories with each other, Danny and Rhea haven't always had the easiest romantic relationship to navigate. It's hard to keep that spark alive after being together for literally decades. Fortunately, they are rational people. They knew when to give each other the space they needed to salvage the relationship. They split for the first time in 2012 after 40 years of marriage. After months apart, they missed each other. They worked things out and got back together in March of 2013. But it seems like whatever reconciliation they were able to arrive at was just a band-aid. Because in 2017, they split once again, this time for good. Even though they have no plans of getting back together, Rhea has stated she could never divorce him. They just don't want to live with each other. She told Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live that after 40 years of marriage, they had to do something else. She confirmed they weren't planning on getting a divorce and their separation was amicable. They may live apart, but they still see each other on a regular basis. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. And be sure to stick around to find out what the DeVito kids are up to these days. Your last chance to know what love is. <laughs> okay, what is it? Spinach. Rhea is an award-winning actress. You probably know how successful of an actor, comedian, and producer Danny DeVito is, but his ex-wife Rhea is very talented as well. Her credits include films like Matilda, Canadian Bacon, Sunset Park, and I'll See You in My Dreams, just to name a few. She won several times for her work on Cheers, receiving Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series in 1984, 85, 86, and 89. Additionally, she's been nominated for several Golden Globes. She has modest roots and a talented family. Perlman grew up in Brooklyn. She was born in Coney Island on March 31, 1948. Her father, Philip Perlman, was a Polish immigrant who managed a doll factory. Her mother, Adele, was a bookkeeper. While her family certainly wasn't suffering, they weren't the richest folks on the block either. Her sister, Helda, also found a career in television. She's a writer and producer who's worked on shows like Frasier, Cheers, and The Tracy Ullman Show. Rhea's parents soon moved to LA, and her father appeared as an extra on Cheers, and managed to pursue a second career of sorts as a character actor. 
He ended up appearing in quite a few films and shows, including Hoffa, Frasier, and Throw Mama from the Train. The DeVito kids consider their last name a blessing and a curse. Like we touched on, the DeVito kids grew up watching their parents hone their craft, and when it came time for them to pave their own path, they found their unique place in the entertainment industry. Having the surname DeVito has surely opened some doors for them. Everyone knows what family they're from and who their father is the second they walk into a room. One of the times this can be troubling is in the dating realm. Lucy in particular has had trouble with this problem. It's kind of hard to be anonymous when people know you're the daughter of one of the biggest names in Hollywood. The only way she's been able to overcome this hurdle is by going on more blind dates. Danny's Walk of Fame Star In 2011, Rhea was by her husband's side when he was presented with a star on Hollywood's prestigious Walk of Fame. Lucy was 28 at the time, and Grace was 26, and Jacob was 23. All three children were present. During his acceptance speech, DeVito joked he'll take very good care of the star. Acting is in their blood. Lucy DeVito, the eldest sibling, received her degree in theater at Brown University in 2005. Her first credited film role was in 2007's Noble Son. She followed that up with 2009's Leaves of Grass alongside Ed Norton and Richard Dreyfuss. More recently, she played Irene on The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. She's also had small roles in films like Jumanji, The Next Level, and Tim Burton's 2019 re-envisioning of Dumbo. Her younger sister Grace is also super talented. She appeared in films like My Girlfriend Abroad, Bloom, and Amboy. In addition to acting, she's also a well-known painter. Jacob, the youngest DeVito, has also had his fair share of acting credits. His first credited film role was in 2005's Pieces of a Dream. In recent years, he's enjoyed more behind-the-scenes production than acting. As a producer, he's worked on films like The Better Angels and Quicksand. Best friends or something more. Since their separation, Danny has repeatedly been asked by members of the press about his relationship with Rhea. His response is nearly always the same. According to him, they're better friends than they've been in years. The last few years of living with each other were hard, but their friendship has bloomed since they made the decision to live apart. In March 2020, Danny and Rhea were spotted grabbing a bite to eat with each other at a popular vegan restaurant in LA. DeVito was photographed with a huge grin on his face following their outing. Some have speculated their relationship might just be on the mend once again, or maybe they're just two friends grabbing dinner. Love takes on many forms. Two people don't have to cohabitate to care deeply for each other. What's your opinion? Do you think they should stay apart? Rhea? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being here and making this possible. Or try to rekindle their flame and give their marriage another shot. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And before you move on, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.